Hi guys, Roy here from Your Golf Travel. Another week, another country. I'm in Morocco, Marrakesh to be exact, and I'm at Palm Golf Palmarie, which is part of the Palmarie Resort. Got in late last night, about to play 18 holes on this amazing looking golf course designed by Robert Trent Jones. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about, obviously, the golf course, and try and keep a score as well. You know, if it creeps up towards 100, I might stop counting, but no one wants to watch me do that. Um, but I will also be talking about the benefits of coming to Morocco versus other travel destinations that you guys might have had your fill of. So let's get stuck into Morocco. Got a long week ahead. Gonna be joined later on this afternoon by a bunch of sales guys. We're doing a tour of Marrakesh, um, fast and furious. Gonna see a lot of stuff, a lot of courses, a lot of hotels. Hopefully bring you guys a decent idea of what it's like to come for a golf holiday in Morocco. Right, so first hole, about 360 yards straight down. Total yardage of the course off the yellow tees where I'm playing today is about 6,200 yards. So very similar to the course where I get my handicap from back in the UK. Um, handicap 13, let's see how we get on. Right, no warm up on the range. Got to be driver for the biggest club face in the bag. Come on, fairway on the third. Lovely. Over the bunker. Yeah, straight through it, lovely. Ooh. So I've got my colleague Mark in here, he's the product manager for Morocco. New to the game. That's who you heard in the background just there. We're talking to him this week about his thoughts on Morocco too. Right, about 90 yards. Brand spanking new wedges. Hashtag thin bullet on this one. Let's see if I can find the club base. Ah. Right, found the club face, which was nice. It's a good strike, actually. And I don't know what it hit, but it's a very, very firm bounce. I think on this fringe bit just here. So I'm gonna have to factor that in. Just roll through into the bunker at the back. But that gives me a chance to use another one of the new wedges. Oh, yes. Beautiful. One ball confirmed, par five second. Come on, 30, come on. Right, just flailed that one a little bit right, but thankfully, just back right of the green, so. Little chip down the green, hopefully get it close. Make birdie on the second, go one under. Ooh, just giving myself the kiss of death, haven't I? Horrendous. Kiss of death confirmed, that was an awful chip. But it wasn't a complete dunch, which is what I've been doing recently. So not too bad, two pars to start. 
Uh, third hole, 330 yards straight down. And from the club I hit into that par five for my second, you can straight away tell that Palm Golf here at Palmery is proper resort golf. We're playing off the yellow tee, so one tee forward from the back. And I'll just hit drive a six iron into a par five. Not going to be doing that at a full length championship course, so this is the kind of course where holiday makers can come, relax and definitely have a lot of fun and have a chance to make some birdies. So you can see in the distance the Atlas Mountains and I'm fairly certain on other golf courses here in Morocco they get a lot more imposing and a lot more spectacular. Those are just the baby ones and they're still a pretty damn nice backdrop. behaving themselves already. Lovely. Oh, four pars and four holes, Martin. Well done, mate. I'm Proud just you. treating you. <laughs> so, as you guys saw on the first tee, I've been joined in Marrakesh. Actually, I joined you in Marrakesh. You did, last night. It's my colleague, Martin. Um, Martin, just to introduce yourself to the audience. What's your role at YGT and how long have you been with us? Well, as you say, my name is Martin McGrath. I am the, well, I'm one of the overseas product managers, uh, contractors for Your Golf Travel. Um, and I uh, look after Morocco, uh, along with many other destinations. And my role is to uh, be the uh, sort of front man for the company, talking to all our suppliers, the hoteliers, the golf courses, you know, making sure that everything is you know, in place for you guys to come and enjoy a great holiday. And you've been at the company three, three years? Three years now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Three years, uh, coming up to three years, so, you know, Nearly long service, and I'm a new golfer as well. So I took up golf joining the company and thoroughly enjoying it. Excellent, and that's why I'm being nice and not pointing the camera at him too much while he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> but to be fair, you guys actually have Martin to thanks for a lot of our trips so far. Like Dan Hendrickson, this man got us to France, and that was where you popped your cherry in the vlog. So all credit to Martin. <laughs> Local tip, try not to hit your driver on the fly into this soft sandy waste areas. I suppose I had to drop a shot at some point in this vlog, didn't I? That is minging. Martin, just before I lose you for a little bit, you've got obviously meetings to go and attend, but I presume you're coming back to join me on the course later. I will be back later. in shortly. Excellent. Um, I don't know a huge amount about Morocco. Um, I know bits and bobs about various courses, but it's my first time as a visitor. You've obviously got experience of the destination. So for these guys down the lens, three tips, travel tips for first timers coming to Morocco, number one. Travel tip number one. When coming to Morocco, um, don't um, hire a car. I highly recommend you don't do it. As Rory would attest last night, the drive from the airport was quite fun. Yeah. Um, but if you're not used to it, and what we recommend is that you take a transfer. We have an amazing transfer uh, company called Complete Tours. They're absolutely fantastic. And we can even get you VIP transfers in beautiful blacked out uh, sort of minibuses. So do, when you're booking your trip to Morocco, talk to your salesman or saleswoman and say to them, I need to book a transfer and you'll find the price is correct. 
Right, just last Martin for a few holes. Um, there's also golfers coming up behind me. Uh, decent stream of uh, three and four balls by the looks of it. So I'm gonna skip the sit pole, unfortunately, with a decent score going, one over three, five. I will take that. I think the only real mistake I've made was that flail to the right with the driver, leaving me that awful lie in the sandy waste area. But I'll take a five, considering I wasn't even sure I was gonna be able to move the golf ball at all. So, plus one, three, five, going well, hitting it well. But combined with hitting it well, this is just proper, unashamed resort golf designed for handicapped golfers. But you can definitely get yourself in spots of trouble as well. So, decent test for the lower handicappers too, off the back tees if you came out here. Right, seventh hole, 437 meters, which is about 490 yards ish. That's the rule we always work off adding about 10% of the total distance. So par five straight down, hopefully I can get home in two. Maybe snatch that drop shot back if I can keep playing well. not going to plan. Yeah. Right, hopefully that's kind of middle of the greenish. Absolute bullet high draw with a two iron. Oh yes. Thought it was gonna be in this bunker potentially. I think I got a little bit lucky to be totally honest. I reckon I've pitched in this rough. Just bobbled out to pin high, and all of a sudden, got birdie putt. Yes, blues. Right, I'll take a par on that hole, considering the tee shot, and then the attempted miracle recovery, which went badly wrong all day long. Um, so a little bit of history about golf in Morocco. Now, golf has actually been in this country for quite an awfully long time. So the first golf course here, Royal Tangiers, was built in 1917. That's up in the Agadir area, which I'll be visiting later in the week. But the first golf course here in Marrakesh was built in 1923. And the one I'm on right now, Palm Golf Palmeri, didn't arrive on the scene until 1992. So a huge gap in between the first and second course in this region of the country. But right now, there's upwards of 30 golf courses here in Morocco, spread from Agadir through to Marrakesh, Casablanca, places like that. So plenty of options, and so far, really enjoying it. Weather's amazing, I think it's about 30 degrees, it's only about 10 o'clock in the morning. As I said, you've got an average temperature roughly of about 35 degrees all throughout the year, so there's never a bad time to come here to Morocco. And it only took me three and a half hours on the plane. So we'll talk a little bit more about that when we compare it to other golf I did at destinations that you guys might have had you fill off if you're looking for something new, Morocco has lots to offer. All right, don't say I never do nothing for you guys. Just treated you to a lovely slow-mo thin bullet. Ninth hole, bit of a tricky par four. Water, as we can see, all up the right, and it dog legs right around the corner. So the question is, sitting pretty at plus one, do I try and bang driver over the corner and get within pitching distance of the green? It's not a very long hole. Or do I aim at that bunker in the distance, which is two, three, six meters? So you'd be looking at just whacking two iron up there. I think, because I don't really know what's around there, I'm just gonna be boring. Get an iron. Probably fat it into the water now. Uh. Uh. Mm. Yeah, as it turns out, I was reading the old course planner wrong. It was 236 meters from back here. I was teeing off from here, so 197, 220-ish yards. Good rip with a two iron. Yeah. Bunker makes, you know, perfect sense. Oh, that's so good. 
Right, I was a little bit nervous there. That's hit five iron from the fairway bunker, water short and right. But that looks about 20 feet. Yes, please. I will take that.